Hi, this is DOSBox Mom. And Boston Blue. And welcome back to Treasures of the Savage Frontier. Oh my god, the park says that's been kidnapped! No! Yeah, which is about how Pox and Arian reacted when she figured it out. This is a She's been moped over the rail, that ship all the way from Orlam all the way from Mintarn. And this is as sad as like main screws and uh, boo. Yeah, and apparently she is going Sorry. to not fight as effectively until we find her sweetheart again. So this is really just like main screws and boo. Okay. Because I think it. Yeah, so it. that's that's where we are. For those of you wondering, this is from a mod, but if you don't have it, then main will lose boo and. I think Wait, his strength is reduced to nine. Oh, which game is that? Uh, Baldur's Gate, but you have to have the right mod. I think it's unfished business. Oh, okay. So let's head down the dock. Okay, and that's the... <laughs> the brazen pendant. Yeah, that's basically where you can book passage on a... Go on a sea ship, cruise. On a sea cruise. And yeah. get kidnapped again. Or Yay! Something. <laughs> okay. Pax and Arian doesn't want to do that. Ooh, you notice guards escorting a man off the same ship on which you just arrived. The dejected gray-haired prisoner carries only an armload of books as he's led away. Books? Is he Gray hair? Books? It's Gandalf! We must kidnap him! <laughs> but I like books! We'll, we'll kidnap him and steal his books! Okay. Well, there should be a lot of interesting things. I think there's an inn down the street off to our left. Oh my god, an inn! <laughs> but... Maybe we can distract Pox and Arian with some shopping. Or booze. Yeah. The building to the west, much of it carved from the stone cliff face, bears the sign of a ship repair company. That okay. kidnaps people. Well, I don't know if this place kidnapped. Oh, there's nobody inside. Well, they were all kidnapped. <laughs> okay. Lost in Blue has kidnapping on the brain. It's all Joe Fox is his fault. Uh huh. To the west, a massive ship repair facility has been cut into the face of a massive cliff. Workers inside the building carry rigging and lumber in every direction, feverishly working to repair their client ships as rapidly as possible. And we get kicked out because we're in the way. They don't like you interfering with their kidnapping operations. <laughs> they're not kidnapping, they're fixing ships. Ah, a brass plate in this door states, Rojoran's House of Arms, your best defense when discussion just won't do. Not this dwarf, surely. Oh, it's a dwarf? It's a dwarf. He deals in extortion, then. Oh, thank you for explaining that. Okay, nothing magical here. So, nothing I want to shop for here. I think there's a magic shop somewhere on this island. I sure hope so. Well, it's probably where they took that guy with the books. Okay. A small castle rises on a cliff to the north e northeast. Its walls and towers polished smooth as glass by centuries of wind-blown sand. Okay, so this is where Tulgar Wrightson, the leader of Orlambor, lives. And we need to find proof that there are counterfeit water deep ships. Okay. So is this going to be like what they do in stores where they just hold it up to the light to see if it's counterfeit or not? Uh, how would you hold the whole ship up to the light? You get a giant to do it. <laughs> ah, well they do have giants in this game. 
A sign beside this door reads, Sword Coast Traders, items of interest for interesting people. Interesting people, they're slavers! <laughs> Lost in Blue is a little obsessed tonight. I'm not obsessed! Okay, belts of protection and cloaks of protection plus one, and we've got all that already. So let's exit. Okay, what's this down here? Temple of God, How Hall of the Shipwrights. Temples Who's are good. Gone? Uh Gon the Wonder Worker. He's you know, one of the good guy deities in the Forgotten Realms Pantheon. Okay. Ooh. And theoretically, according to the map, you should be able to walk Within the Temple of Gone to this oh. next building. Thank you. Mm. Ooh, look at this lost in blue. Multicolored text. The sign above this door isn't really a sign. It's a completely realistic head of a beautiful woman with long red hair that blows gently in the ocean breeze. She's a slaver. Uh, no, there. she's she's a hologram. Wait a minute. Please, come into my magic shop, the head says pleasantly. You'll find many interesting items that may be of use to you in the days ahead. I rolled a disbelief. Okay. I don't have a die. Are you interested in magic? And even that one question is in like five different colors. Uh, then, yeah. Well, I think what he's doing is he's changing his voice to sort of like, Are you interested in magic? Yeah. Or something like that. Ow, my ears hurt. Potion of giant strength, potion of extra healing, wand of giant storm, and various kinds of spells. Now this is finally our chance to sell off some of that excess magic gear that has been accumulating over the last several towns. Okay. Let's see if there's anybody who can use a composite longbow plus two who doesn't already have a composite longbow plus two. You suppose we can sell off this light crossbow? Probably. We don't have any quarrels for it. Oh, then most definitely. Okay. Since they won't let you use a crossbow as a club. <laughs> I think that's it there. Okay. Oh, we can definitely sell off those extra bracers. Bracers on what? Armor class six. Okay, so basically it's something that's mainly only useful for monks and well, mages. Well, low level mages, yeah. Yeah. I they're still expensive, but no. I thought you were a thief.
doing the insect that is hopefully still somewhere in here? Because I had a fly in here earlier. Now I don't have much of my interesting here left. But basically you have minor coloration, which depending upon the light and time of the year, can be more blonde than brown or more brown than blonde. And sometimes very dark. Mm -hmm. See, even though your not very interesting hair color is this pure, like, you don't have much of it left, no, I don't think we'll do that. We didn't fit to distinguish. There were plenty of balls to turn into that. Well, not so many. Okay, either. it looks like everybody that can use a plus two composite longbow already has one, so we'll sell off that extra one. And that way. We can give Pox that lucky paper of Luscon that we had to give to one of the other characters. So we can't sell any of these lucky papers? I uh, don't think so. Especially not in cases where we only have the one. Can't we just tell him that they'll allow him to win big in Vegas or something? <laughs> Uh, he probably thinks... Are you, you sure you're not talking about Far Windward right next door? No, I'm sure. I'm talking about Vegas. Oh, oh, oh! Please don't step on my toe. Sorry! Because I said to wear me boots. Uh-huh. Okay, so... How much loot do we have now? Uh, that might be enough to buy a few things. I don't know. Sure we can't use another 10 million or something. <laughs> well, we gotta buy some, some stuff now. Ooh, Wand of Ice Storm. I think we will definitely start with that. Okay, and let's buy one for Tomas. Okay, potion of giant strength, potion of extra healing, and various spell scrolls. Uh, okay. Let's see if she's got room for. Uh, she doesn't have. We don't have the money left for that anymore. Okay. Let's see if she's got the room. Not really. Okay, how about our cleric? Does she have she might have room for a clerical scroll they had for sale? What's a clerical scroll of? Um let's take a look. Uh the clerical scroll should have uh two heal spells on it. Oh, cool. So that that might be worth getting, but we're gonna have to have her take some of the gems, I think. We don't need to sell them all, though. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long, I think. Famous last words. Yeah. Well, that that should give her give us enough to buy a little bit of stuff. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Bye. Okay. <coughs> no, of course not. Okay. Well, let's see. You could use. Some of those nice potions. I should have never for any potions. How old is Jabarxis? Um, I assume he's uh, basically young adult. Probably twenty something before the haste spells hit. <laughs> Paxnery is older than him. Oh. Uh, I 
got well, we're going to have to find an elixir of youth somewhere then. <laughs> oh, poor us. Poxnarian's boyfriend gets kidnapped, and now we're telling her she's old. Uh, Lost in Blue told her she was old. You agreed with me. No, I was just reasoning. Okay. So he could use a potion to get some healing. Okay. Okay, he's got a couple of potions of giant strength. I'll just buy him a potion of extra healing. Yeah, she doesn't have any room. And she doesn't have any room. And he doesn't have any room. And of course she's got room, but she's an NPC. So anything we give to her, she won't give back. Right. But we should have yeah, I mean that's a lot that's going to be a lot less burdensome than all the thousands of platinum we had before, so let's just share what we've got. And then let's see if we can find a place to camp out. Just um, sleep in the middle of the street. Uh, no, it, it has to be inside. Just sleep in the middle of the magic shop. Yeah. You can probably go to this building. What is this building? Somebody's house. And they'll just let you sleep in there? Well, as long as we stay in the on the front porch here. I totally need to try that sometime. Just walk to one of my friends' houses, go in their front porch, and just sleep there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until they're like, what the heck are you doing? Of course, now she's not the one who just bought spell scrolls. Yeah, problem is most of my friends have cats, and I think I'm slightly allergic. So, uh, ooh, darn my allergies! You can scribe fear. Yay! And blink, and slow, and not that. Okay. All that. Well, Looks I'm, pretty useful. I can scribe blink too. Watch. <laughs> okay. Blink, 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 blink. Uh, blink. What does blink spell do? Does it make you blink a lot? Um. It's kind of like. It turns you into sort of a neon sign. You flash on and off. So it makes it harder for you to be hit. Basically, it turns you into a giant strobe light. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Once we get Jabarx's back, I'm totally going to want to try that on him for some reason. Okay. <laughs> and it's party time! Woo! Uh, okay. Oh, right. Well, probably we should think down this way we've got the magic yeah, shop. And okay. Office of the Coastal Cooperative Board for the Progressive Administration of Far Windward. Uh -huh. You talk with an official here and record your conversation as Journal Entry 41. Poxarian eagerly writes down everything said and done in this meeting. Uh, oh, this distracts her. I see you may be going west of the town of Far Windward. It's on the other side of a very long tunnel through the mountains. So long it'll take you days just to pass through it. Far Windward itself is on a rocky peninsula on the western edge of the island. The top high cliffs that make escape by sea impossible. Guards prevent the inhabitants from leaving through the tunnel. 
You can come and go as you wish, but remember, Farwin, where can be a dangerous place, filled with the outcasts of every city on the Sword Coast, and the descendants of past generations of outcasts. Each resident has a bright red circle tattooed on his or her forearm. They may never leave. And the penalty for assisting in an attempt at escape is death. Well, what? The penalty for assisting in an attempted escape is death. Attempted so, escape from what? From far windward. So if you live there, you're not allowed to leave it under penalty of death. Uh-huh, and anybody who tries to help you escape. Death. Why? It's sort of the devil's island of the, sa of the savage frontier. Um, okay. Okay. Well, we're not quite ready to go to far windward yet, so let's see if we can find the evidence of the fake water deep ships. We need to find a giant to hold the. Ooh, is this a giant? Oh. No, this is just the armory. Remember, that's that ship repair place where they kicked us out. Because they didn't like you interfering with their slavering operations. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, let's see. Okay, we haven't been down here. Oh, here's the inn. Inn of the swinging hammock. Now, what's in here? Slavers! Maybe. The ship repair facility seems less busy than those you saw as your ship entered the harbor. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. As you pass through the secret door, you immediately recognize that you've entered a secret temple. And you see the sigil, which is misspelled of Talos emblazoned on the walls. Why is Talos always trying to kill me? The occupants of the shrine immediately turn to attack the party. It looks like we got some heck hounds here. And host tower mages. And oh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be another crystal battle. Not that we need more crystals, but if there's anybody who's made it to this point in the game and doesn't have all three crystals yet. This is one of your last chances to get them. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, yeah, quite a few host tower. Pages. Fireball? Fireball! Yay! We need to get this battle over with quickly because we can't trust Poxenarian to fight her best. Yeah, that should be far enough away. Yeah. For what? It's almost tower sorceresses here. But as long as it's got representatives of all three factions. That guy was going a little nuts right there. Uh-huh. Okay. Another fireball. Yay! You know, actually, he's got a magic missile. What, class, what class is that over here? He's a ranger. He's high level enough <laughs> now that he can cast a few low level uh, druid and I magic user spells. I didn't know magic missile was a druid spell. Oh it's, wait, he can guess. Okay, that must be something. It's different here because the other games I played really that's magic. Okay. Oh hush. Well, we'll finish this battle, and actually, I think we'll finish up this battle because I think there's probably going to be a message at the end of the battle. And we'll stay with this through the end of the message and then end the episode. How rude. You told me to hush. Oh, I was telling the timer to hush. You need to tell the heck hounds to hush. 
Hush, puppies. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's have her use up some of those darts she still has. Since she's got a few arrows now, we'll, we'll let her use those when she can. I think we've taken out all the post tower source. Yeah. I get it. Okay, just a minute. We're going to pause this. And we're back. We've just finished. I, I decided to go ahead and finish up the battle off camera. Saved a little time. Fair amount of experience. Platinum. And the usual stuff. Lots of lucky papers. Oh yeah. We'll have Fox take charge of the lucky papers. Ooh, the sea helm. Oh, we might actually have him to take that now. Let's see what that's like. Yep, it's a helmet plus two. But it's named, so it's cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's see who could use one. Okay, she's got a helmet plus two. He's got a helmet plus two. Helm plus two. And she's got a helm plus two. They've all got helms plus two. Oh, although we didn't bother having her equip that yet. So, ugh. Okay, well, let's just pick somebody to take it, because that's probably the single coolest thing. Even though it doesn't work any better than the non-cool helms we've already got. Yeah, we'll have Jagir to take the darts. I think those are non-magical anyway. Uh, maybe take the bracers. Why am I having Jamir <coughs> take the bracers? I don't know why I'm having Jamir take the bracers. She couldn't take care of any anyway. Maybe if we get to <coughs> later on. Yep, 
Yeah. Okay. That's basically all that's worth taking. And we'll have Pox heal Teresa through her tears. Yeah. Look at this! Lucita tells everyone. Those threatening warships off the coast of Orlembar aren't from Waterdeep at all. They're pirates flying the Waterdeep flag. Tulgar writes that of Orlembar will be anxious to hear this. Okay, but at least we'll be allowed to rest. So we'll end the recording at this point and take the evidence we've found to Tulgar writes it in the next episode. See you then.